Welcome back to the SBN Fantasy Premier League. And what a game week it was to re-kick off the Premier League. Um, Arsenal still on top by five points. Manchester City piling on the pressure. Uh, and obviously, Erling Haaland getting two goals. Why wouldn't he? He was upset they didn't get five. Um, we are still giving away the 500 betting voucher courtesy of Hollywood Bets for the month of December. And it's Khalifa, or Khalifa, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you are currently leading the race with 121 game points. Um, at the end of the next game week, game week 18, please inbox us uh, your details and we will credit your account with the 500 Rand betting voucher. Leading the overall top 10 leaderboard, all of the players now above 1,000 points. It's actually pretty phenomenal. Um, I should be there in maybe one more game week. Uh, so I'll catch you guys up soon. Moving on, we see some injuries and suspensions. Callum Wilson somehow still sick. Uh, Reese James, the big one, everybody highly disappointed, out for four weeks. And then, if you don't know already, Jesus is out. Um, looking at the suspensions, William Saliba, um, most people do have him in, his, in, in, the, in your team. On four yellow cards, possibly out for some big fixtures coming up after that, if he does pick up another one. Alongside another player in Harry Kane, uh, if you see on the list that is on screen now, you can see a couple of players, but those two are pretty well picked in, or selected across many teams. Um, some players that I'd like to look at this week, someone who's probably as banker as you can get for points is Alexander Mitrovic. I did mention him last week. He came through flying. Uh, and he then also got the most points uh, for in the team of the week. Also, I want to have a look at a punt, rather, uh, someone we can bet on to probably get some points. If you don't already have three Arsenal players, Eddie Nketiah. Uh, I was a bit apprehensive just watching as an Arsenal fan, but he was phenomenal. He should pick up some points uh, in their away trip to Brighton as well. And then the person that's m likely to get some points, Miguel Almiron. If you, have, if you haven't got three players in your team, uh, also Fabian Shaw is possible suspension. He's on four yellow cards as well. You could look to swap him out for Almiron if you don't already have three Newcastle players. On transfers in versus transfers out, we see Callum Wilson out, and then the obvious one, Reese James, still very disappointing. Uh, on the transfers in, somehow Tony is still on that list. Uh, he does have a hearing for some violations where he might be suspended for a very long time, uh, coming on the 4th of January, if I'm not mistaken. So he will have one more fixture to play. Might want to leave a lasting impression for in everyone, everyone's memories. And another surprising player, Martin Odegaard. Um, most points for Arsenal at this very given time as he heads into the Brighton fixture. Finally, we have two double game weeks coming up for four teams. Um, it's Manchester City and Tottenham in game week 20, and then also Chelsea and Fulham uh, following this game week 18 in game week 19. So see if we can shuffle in a couple of those players. Um, until next time, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment below who you think will be a good punt uh, other than Eddie and Ketia so that I can have a look at it as well. Cheers.